What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we have pretty good news. No matter if you're running iOS 15 or 16 or 16.4 on any device because this affects the whole jailbreak community. So we're gonna get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So I'm gonna go straight into the big news. The Big Boss repo, which is basically one of the default repos on many jailbreaks, has been the default repo for many years and a lot of the tweaks that were released in the jailbreak community were hosted on the big boss repo this repo now supports finally rootless steps which means that it finally supports the rootless jailbreak format which is the de facto format on ios 15 and ios 16. you can't really create the older type of jailbreaks anymore maybe you can with checkmate on iphone 10 and older but for the newer devices every jailbreak released is going to be rootless and the jailbreaks that are currently in the works and that are released are rootless you have opa 334's jailbreak which is basically fugu 15 which is completely rootless this one works on 15.0 up to 15.4.1 then you have Pelrain Jailbreak, which is basically running all the way up to iOS 16.4. And yeah, they also have a rootless jailbreak in here, so you do need rootless tweaks. And then you have other jailbreaks like Sheena A15, which is also rootless. So the future of jailbreaking is creating rootless jailbreaks. Now you should keep in mind that users like Q are not affected by the fact that jailbreak is rootless. It just means that the developers of tweaks and themes have to adapt and rebuild their tweaks for the rootless format. However, for you as as a user this doesn't change much once the jailbreak is polished and created correctly and the tweaks are updated then you shouldn't see much of a difference compared to a normal jailbreak however yes the big boss repo one of the oldest repos in the game is finally supporting rootless deb submissions so if you're a tweak developer you can now use this form over here to submit a new tweak even if it's a rootless tweak and they will be able to put it in the proper category so they are now supporting the rootless tweaks alongside with the old style of tweaks because remember the old kind of tweak the normal tweaks will not work on rootless jailbreaks. Now the Big Boss repo is a little bit late to the party. Havoc repo was one of the first repos to start supporting the rootless format back on March the 17th and I made an article here on iDeviceCentral.com exactly when that happened and that was actually pretty good news because this means that jailbreak developers and tweak developers can now finally put those tweaks to good use since they have somewhere to put them. Before major repos like Havoc and like Big Boss and stuff like that started accepting rootless tweaks the developers were updating their tweaks for rootless but they were placing those tweaks in randomly created github hosted self-hosted repos nobody knew about and you had to add like 100 repos each repo for one or two tweaks which created a lot of fragmentation in the community now that the major repos like havoc and big boss and a couple others are starting to support rootless things will normalize and you will be able to find your normal tweaks right on the normal repos like you used to do on cherries big boss and of course on havoc and stuff like that so this does affect even the future because going forward all the jailbreaks will likely be rootless so they require the repos to be updated to support rootless and the tweaks to be updated to run on rootless so thank you for watching pretty good news till the next time subscribe to stay updated check out our website idevicecentral.com and peace out